Welcome back to Psychness. Um, we're still continuing with our therapeutic communication theme, um, hence why you see me in the same t-shirt all the time. Because <laughs> I thought I'd just record them all in one day. They're only really small snippets. I mean, I could change the top to make it a bit more interesting for you, but I'll keep it on like a uniform, eh? Right. Anyway, so we're looking at um, this, this uh, communication um, skill is encouraging descriptions of perception. So think about you've got a, uh, a patient that may be experienced some sensory perceptions. So they might be some uh, visual hallucinations, they might be, um, uh, um, oh my God, I can't even get the words out. So I'm making things straight, probably because I've done too many of these. They might be auditory hallucinations, they might be olfactory hallucinations, it could be tactile hallucinations, and um, you know, um, our patients often feel these things and kind of experience them or get felt that these are kind of negative uh, things that are happening to them, even though they are positive symptoms, they kind of feel that it, they take it in a negative way, in a derogatory type way, and people try to avoid going uh, and talking about them. But that's actually the opposite of what you should do. But maybe what you should be doing is saying things like, you know, what do you hear now? Or, um, what does that look like to you? So you give, it gives your uh, patients the prompts then to really explain how they're perceiving things. I mean, because really that's what it's all about, isn't it? You know, it's where, that's where you're gonna do your assessment from. You need to base whether things are getting better or getting worse. Uh, you need to find out if medications are working or not working. You need to find out if a form of treatment is appropriate or not appropriate. Um, and you know, from, from that, you can actually, uh, cast your eye over many things physically and mental health so you know by encouraging uh, our patients to offer a description of their perception of things you know um, is a good way to find out what's going on and not only with the people that have got sensory but also their perception of what's actually happening so what's your, what do you think is going on with the treatment at the moment what's your perception of that you know they might turn around and say well I think you will just have to kill me you know uh, or I think that you um, don't want me to leave this hospital or I don't think you're listening to me because you just seem to ignore me. Um, or I think actually the treatment's quite good and I actually feel better for it, to be honest with you. And I've noticed that my sleep's improved. You're encouraging this rapport, this ongoing rapport that's productive. It's a good focus to stay with rather than just using nothing, giving the people no stimulation. How about giving them some stimulation to make them feel human and asking their perception? So, asking for descriptions.